with Shobha Day, talking about food and friends. Shobha, what is a meal that you go back to after a hard day? Your comfort food? Absolutely no debate there. My comfort food has got to be the very, very gently made kitchen, which is almost semi-solid, like what I used to give my babies, what I used to have as a baby myself. And it has to be piping hot. It has to have ginger in it. It has to have green chilies and a generous dollop of ghee. Interesting person you had dinner with. My gosh, that's a tough one. But I would definitely say Amartya Sen, mainly because uh, you expect someone like him, a Nobel laureate, to be somewhat distant and economist and he will be bored with silly, frivolous questions. Uh, uh, Obhijit Banerjee and Amartya Sen, both these men, both Nobel laureates, both deeply interested and invested in food. So those two dinners, I would definitely rate in my top 10 dinners because the conversation was never about either economics or the state of the nation or the world or any of that. We were talking about uh, being, actually being foodies. Do you enjoy street food? And if so, which is the best place in the world perhaps to eat good street food? Street food is Bambaya food at its best, at its most inventive. I'm waiting for someone smart in Bombay to start Chatpata Sushi, for example, because everything eventually becomes something, a version of uh, Bhel. So I love street food. I love street food in all the cities of the world, but I would say Lucknow and Kolkata. Biryani is a dum biryani that you can get in both those places, and the Kolkata biryani in particular is very distinct and different. It's the Avdi style of cooking. It's very fragrant. It's got huge chunks of potato in it. And uh, you can just, um, you can eat your way through Kolkata and Lucknow, the street food for a year and not ever have to repeat yourself in terms of your meals. If you were to host a dream dinner party, mm. who would be on that guest list? I like to think of having dinner with people I may have met, but who are very much with us and who may I may want to spend even more time with. I like people with certain eccentricities. I like people who are uh, difficult and contrary and uh, make dinner conversation not polite but challenging. So uh, let me think, uh, for just for cerebral fun, because he does have a great sense of humour, it would be Raghuram Rajan, my all-time favourite economist on earth. It would be uh, Rahul Gandhi, right now I'm crushing on him because suddenly we're seeing a totally different version of a man whom we've taken so much for granted and uh, written off. Uh, definitely Narendra Modi because I'd love to see him respond to some, some questions I might want to ask him on behalf of the nation. Uh, I know that he will, uh, he will answer them wonderfully well and very cleverly and I'll be left eating my own words but so what? It'll be fun to have dinner with. Mm, those are four men. Uh, let's balance this out a little bit. Great dancer would be fantastic. Uh, great um, Arundhati Roy because she's always in many ways uh, so deep, so playful, so mischievous. Uh, I, I respect what she stands for. I love her writing so I'd like love to have dinner with her. How many more? A great singer, definitely. Lucky Ali, oh, he breaks my heart. I love Lucky Ali. Lucky Ali, if you're looking at this video, please have dinner with me. There's something just so magical about him. And yeah, I, that's my list. <laughs>